Thank you, Angus, for asking us this question. In answer to question five, which is, for Nokia Strategic Alliance with Microsoft, what should Nokia do in order to benefit from it and protect itself? As we all know, Nokia is a telecommunication company, while Microsoft is, a, is an operating system company. They can both work together and be successful at the end of the day. Um, they can both benefit from their strengths, from their strengths. Nokia can tap by tapping into each other's ideas and knowledge. Nokia can tap into Microsoft's, Microsoft's idea, which will help to enhance their productivity capacity. Not for what Nokia needs to do in order for them to benefit, to, to gain, to achieve this benefit is they need to tr they need to be transparent with Microsoft's office. What we need, what we mean by being transparent is by letting them know about their short term and probably maybe their long term plans as they will both be going into partnership, which could last for a long time. They need, uh, they are, Nokia needs to let Microsoft's office know if they're in alliance with any other companies at the moment, and if there is any room, or maybe if there could be any possibility of them going into alliance with other small companies in the future. And they need to give their reasons why they would want to do this. So an example of reason why they might want to do so would be probably for them to have competitive advantage in order for them to avoid or prevent competi competition within the industry.